Two weeks ago, I posted this test and a lot of you struggled with this question. So many of you were confused in the comments as to why the answer was posé without a at the end. So, let's talk about it. This lesson will cover the agreement of the past participle in a reflexive verb when conjugated in the passé composé. I will explain it step by step, but if you want to work on your conjugation, I have a full playlist that goes with my book, The Complete French Conjugation Chorus. The playlist is free to watch here on YouTube, but you can get the book for all the notes and the 200 exercises included. But today, it all comes down to the place of the direct object. So first, what is a reflexive verb? A reflexive verb is a verb where the action is being reflected on the subject. For example, one that we are going to use today is se changer, to get change. So you can see the difference between a reflexive verb and a regular verb because of the reflexive pronoun in front of it. So here it's se. This is a reflexive verb with a reflexive pronoun. When a reflexive verb is conjugated in the present tense, we have this structure. Subject, reflexive pronoun, and then the verb. So we have je me change. I am getting change. Je, subject. Me, reflexive pronoun. Change, verb. Je me change. When a reflexive verb is conjugated in the passé composé, we have this structure. Subject, reflexive pronoun. Auxiliary, past participle. The auxiliary in this case is always être. With reflexive verb, it's always être. So we have il s'est changé. He got changed. Il s'est changé. Now, that's where the lesson is starting to get interesting. If it's a woman, we are going to say elle s'est changée. And here we have a e at the end of changer. So, elle s'est changée with a e at the end, okay? In this case, the past participle agrees in gender and number. This is why we have a e at the end. It doesn't happen with il because il is masculine. Now, why does the answer in the test was elle s'est posé la question? Elle s'est posé la question. Here, there's no e at poser. It's because of the direct object, which is la, la question, la question, la question. We find the direct object by asking the question, quoi ou qui? What or who? Okay? So, elle s'est posée. If we just had that part of the sentence, and this is not a correct sentence, by the way, this is just to show you. Elle s'est posée. Here we are going to have the E at the end. If we add la question after, Elle s'est posé la question. The direct object is after the verb, so the past participle doesn't agree with it, okay? Elle s'est posé la question. Elle s'est posé quoi? La question. Okay, la question is the direct object. I know it's a little bit hard to follow it here. So here the direct object is after the verb, so the past participle doesn't, does not agree with it. If you don't know how to find the direct object, we find it by asking the question quoi ou qui. So, elle s'est posée quoi? La question. La question is the direct object. If we transform the direct object, la question, into a direct object pronoun and we place it before the reflexive verb, then the part, past participle agrees again. Elle se l'est posée. Elle se l'est posée. Okay? So this is why the answer in the test was elle s'est posée la question without a e at posé. And it's a very, very common mistake in French. Some people say, like, even chat GTP, write it as s'est posé with a e. This is wrong. This is wrong. Chat GTP is not always right. Um, this is a very specific rule of grammar, and it also works with body parts. If we say elles se sont lavées, Basically, they wash themselves, they showered, uh, so lavé, so feminine plural. Elles se sont lavé. We have a S at the end because we have nothing. We have no direct object 
after the verb. If we say, elles se sont lavé les mains, elles se sont lavé les mains, now we have a direct object again. So now the past participle doesn't agree because the, the direct object is after the verb. If we change it, if we change the direct object, which is les mains, into a direct object pronoun, we are going to have elles se les sont lavées. Elles se les sont lavées. Okay? Here agrees again with the direct object pronoun and we add a s again. The very specific part of that is that it doesn't work with reflexive verb taking an indirect object. So if we say elle se fait mal, so here the verb is se faire mal à quelque chose. Okay? Here it's not going to agree because it's not, because it takes an indirect object. For example, elle se fait mal à quoi au genou? Elle se fait mal au genou. Here, no matter what happened, the past participle, so fait, will never agree in gender and number. Does it make sense? Please let me know if it was helpful. Uh, if you have more questions about it, just ask in the comment section and I will try to reply as soon as I can. I try to reply to all my comments whenever I can. Next week, it will either be a French speaking practice or a French short story, depending on your vote in my community tab. So, I will see you next Wednesday for a new lesson. À mercredi prochain.